Hi everyone, it's Desiree. Welcome back to my channel. Thanks for joining me for another video. Today I'm going to be making a custom spread for one of my patrons over on Patreon. This is a new patron that I just actually got. I think over the weekend she signed up. This is for Shanika. I'm super excited about this spread um, because it's a really cute theme and um, I love the reasoning behind it. So I'll get into that. But yeah, I want to do... She signed up. She's actually my very first deluxe mini patron so thank you thank you so much Shanika for signing up for that for that tier so in this tier I instead of doing a classic spread I'm doing a mini spread um so the tier is a little bit cheaper than the classic one and I'm also gonna do like a little extra sheet because sometimes you need a little extra in the mini in the mini spread at least when I'm using it sometimes I will put in some extra paper for the week. So I'm going to do something to tie in with this theme that she wanted. So um, usually like so far all my patrons um, have kind of been giving me an idea of like what they want for a spread and she actually has a nephew who his birthday is in February. So she wants me to make a birthday spread themed with Mickey because he loves Mickey and when she said that I was just like oh my god that's so perfect because my first Mickey spread that I ever made and it was actually before the Happy Planner came out with Disney stickers was for my nephew's birthday I actually had to make my own like little Mickey heads out of like circles kind of be creative about it since we didn't have anything I was only using Happy Planner stuff at the time um, but yeah, I did a Mickey spread for his birthday, so I think it's super sweet that she's doing a birthday spread for her nephew, because that's totally something I do all the time for mine. Um, but yeah, I'm excited to do this spread for her. So I'm going to do this mini dashboard. I actually need to redate this, because there's this is the wrong um, date, but I don't have pages for that week that she needs. And yeah, I'm going to redate it for her. I have specific dates that she wants me to put boxes, but I'm just going to do a Mickey theme, which I have this Disney sticker book right here. So of course I'm going to pull some Mickeys from here. Um, I have another one too somewhere. And also, because it's a birthday spread, I wanted some birthday stickers. The only problem is I really don't have birthday type stickers anymore because I tend to go through those pretty quick. Um, but thankfully I do have a Cricut now. So I was able to print out some things from my computer and then cut them on my Cricut. So I have like some balloons because I wanted like a banner and I wanted balloons and I wanted it to go with, I think I matched it up pretty well with the color scheme going to just be a fun colorful yeah it matches the colors in this so that's why I went with these and yeah I'm excited about this hopefully I did I think it I think this will work I kind of was trying to size it right but I'm still learning how to use the Cricut um it randomly started raining which is weird but I love the sound of rain so hopefully you can hear the sound of the rain uh, because it sounds really nice all right, so I'm gonna get started. I'm actually gonna pull, oh no, the first thing I need to do before I do anything um, is I need to redate this. So what I'm gonna do is I'm actually just going to go over these numbers because I need the week of the 14th for this spread. So I'm just gonna go over these numbers so that way I can cover them up with new ones. Um, this is the, what is this called? I always forget. Uniball Signo. Yeah. I love this pen. It's a good one. Okay. So let me finish this up and then I will redate this for the correct week. So I did a little whiteout on all the numbers and then I'm going to go in with JoJo's Date It sticker book. This is going to come in super handy for these spreads that I'm going to have to possibly redate. Because uh, I don't have, I need to find undated pages of these because I don't think I have these but these are going to work out perfectly so I'm just going to put these here this is the 14th um, and then I will go all the way down oh I don't I don't think I showed the this page it, there's tons of them and then there's tons of yeah there's tons tons for dating different sizes different fonts I don't think this book is available anymore. I don't know if JoJo's planning on restocking it, but 
definitely check out her her Instagram and her channel and her website because that's where you will get info on new releases and when things are available. Okay, so I'm just gonna finish dating this off camera because this is kind of a little tedious. So um, that way I can get close to it and date it. So everything is dated. I'm pulling some stickers to use in this spread. I wanna put this banner, I'm trying to think if I should just do happy birthday. I mean, it covers up. Oh, what dates does she need? Okay, so she needs a box on the 14th, the 15th, the 15th, and the 19th, and the, eight, oh, the 18th. That's when her nephew's birthday is the 18th. Okay, so the 14th, two on the 15th, one on the 19th, and one on the 18th. Ooh, that's actually like, the dates that she needs are exactly where I like to have them scattered. So that's funny that that worked out that way. Um, Let's see, I'm trying to decide if I want it like over here, happy birthday. I think I might do it this way because that way it doesn't take up too much room on this side. I still have room to put a box on the 14th, which is what she needs. I do plan on like, like I mentioned before, I plan on adding like an extra sheet, like a little half sheet. I have a little half sheet like this that I'm gonna decorate that she can add into the spread too that'll coordinate. So at least that'll give a little bit more room. I always kind of like get worried like that I, I know how I like to plan, but I don't know how like other people Plan, but a lot of the a lot of my patrons have been telling me to just do what I like to do like however I, I I do things just just do it the same way so so they must plan the same way I do which is kind of cool okay so I'm just gonna erase these because I plan on putting boxes down and then that way yeah okay those will be there and then the birthday will go here. So you can still see the date. I think I like that. Okay. So I'm going to put this down. I got this from the Cricut. So I pay for... Oh, let me erase these two. I pay the um, Cricut subscription. I don't know, I, I like the fonts and stuff. I've been using some of the things when I make sticker sheets for the patrons on, um, I have like exclusive sheets of stickers that I give out. And I've been using some of like, like snowflakes, like little things, I've been adding them to the um, sheets just to fill in some empty spaces. And I like the fonts that they have on there. So I've been just, paying the subscription, which has been working out. But um, yeah, because I pay for the subscription, which I don't even know how much that thing is. I should probably look into that. Um, but, but yeah, since I pay for it, I, I get to have access to a lot of this like artwork. So this was included in here as like free. And then they even have artwork for um, like Mickey stickers, actually, some of the stickers that I've seen in these sticker books. Let me see if I can find one because, oh, I think this one, this guy right here with the, this Mickey with the flowers and then this Mickey with the little letter. I'm pretty sure I've seen that on the Cricut, uh, like images, but those you have to pay extra, like they're $2, but once you pay for them, then you get to use them as many times as you want. So I thought that was cool because there's a bunch of like Mickey artwork, like even seasonal ones, like Christmas themed ones, which would have been cute to use for the holidays. And then um, these regular ones that we've seen in the sticker books. So yeah, but yeah, you do have to pay extra for those. Of course, cause it's Disney. You know how that goes. Okay, I don't like the way I put that. <laughs> Let me um, carefully take this off. I'm worried about ripping this. Uh, okay, so that wasn't the best idea. 
But I think wherever this lands, I cannot move it again. The sticker is a little compromised. <laughs> okay, actually that kind of worked. That's better. Okay, cute, it says happy birthday. Little banner, cute, love that. All right, so I'm gonna do a box. I still want it to be pretty functional. So I'm gonna put a box here. I want to layer this. I like this. Leave a trail of magic wherever you go. I think. Oh, you know what? Let me layer it this way. Yeah. I could put another box over here. Okay. So I'm going to put this down. Let me erase this. Okay. Put this down here. a layer here. I love those colors. They're so much fun. Okay, now I'm going to add in a Mickey. Maybe I'll put in this Mickey. He's funny. <laughs> it's so funny that he's like just sitting there. Maybe I could put some balloons with him. So I cut out some balloons too. I have some like clusters of balloons, but then I also have these little single balloons that I might be able to add just to make it more like birthday. Let's see, I need some blue. Okay. Let me see how I can do this. If I layer these two. a little bit. It's already looking super adorable. Okay, I think I'm going to lift him up a little bit so that way I can put the ear on top. I kind of have him like holding it in a way. It's not really holding it, but kind of, sort of. <laughs> that's cute. Oh my gosh, that's adorable. <laughs> okay. Love, love, love that. Okay. I don't think I have, oh no, I do have this blue. I, I have this blue in here. So I didn't think I did, but I'm pretty sure I have blue in here. Oh, you know what? I should grab my other book that has like the boxes in it. If I can't find anything in here. All right. So yeah, I'm gonna have to go grab my colorful boxes sticker book. I just want a box, like a plain box. Okay, let me go grab. One. Okay, so I got the colorful boxes sticker book, but I also got my old uh, planner just to show my. First Mickey spread, my attempt at a Mickey spread when we didn't have any Disney stickers. But yeah, this was for my my nephew's birthday, Jacob. He loves Mickey Mouse. Love, love, loves him. To this day, still absolutely obsessed with Mickey. Okay, so I think this is adorable. I love how that turned out right there. So I have some of these. Oh, yes, I do have these boxes right here that I can use. Let me I kind of just want to use this here to cover up. I realize I didn't use the right blue. But I think that should be okay. Yeah. I probably should have matched the blue better. Because <laughs> it's not the right blue. But sometimes when you print them like off the computer, it doesn't look the same. I'm going to grab these little flags. This little I love you or heart you. 
I don't think I'm gonna use all of these, but I'm just pulling them just in case I need to pull them or use them. We have another one of these. Okay, I think that's a good amount because that, that color I don't really have a lot of anywhere else. So let me put this get here. Oops. Okay, let me move on to the boxes over here on this side. So I'm going to grab Let's see what color do I want over here? Blue? I'll do blue. Okay, so she went on the 14th, 14th, two on the 15th, so I'm going to do two red ones on the 15th from JoJo's sticker book. 15th, yeah, I'm going to put the boxes down first since those are important since she needs specific ones on certain days. So we got the 14th. Or the 15th, I mean, two on the 15th, one on the 19th here. So I could do this. Um, I think I have a bigger one. A bigger one. Nope. Okay, I'm just going to do this one here on the 19th. And then one on the 18th, which that's her nephew's birthday. So I think I want to do... Okay, oops. Let me go back to my Mickey, see where I want to put some Mickeys. Okay, I kind of want to put this Mickey, like, looking at the birthday one. Because I think that's cute. <laughs> like that. Yeah. That's what I'm going to do. Mickey, excited about the birthday. I'm going to move this over because I don't like that his hand is covering... Now, where am I going to put another Mickey? So I have this Mickey. I mean, I guess I don't really need another one because it's kind of big. Okay, I'm not going to I'm not gonna put another Mickey because it's just too much. I use really big Mickeys for this spread. If I would have used the smaller ones, I would have been able to fit more, but I like the size of these. I like the sizes that I chose, so. I'll, I'll add Mickeys in the form of these little Mickey heads. Why not? I'm just gonna put these. I like these as like bullet points in the spread. Helps to add the color on the spread too. So that works. Oh, I can use that Mickey on um, the little sheet I plan on making. That's what I'll do. This here. Okay, I think those two look good like that. Super, super cute. <laughs> I love how it turned out, or how it's turning out. I'm actually gonna lift these up a bit because I feel like they're a little too close to Mickey's head. So I'm gonna move these up. Take this. I'm gonna put washi tape down too, but I'm probably gonna do that at the end. Put these two here. Looks super cute. Okay, and then I have balloons, but I don't know. I mean, I feel like I should add balloons to his birthday. Oops, I ripped it. I knew I was gonna rip it. <laughs> it's okay. I kind of wish 
I didn't put on the same level, but I think it should be fine. I feel like his birthday has to have balloons, you know? So I'm gonna do a yellow and a blue. Kinda hide that I ripped that. take up too much room. Yeah. Okay, cut this off. But, oh, cute. And okay, I think for now I'm done with this, but I'm going to add in washi and stuff, so I'm not 100% done. I kind of want to move on to this just to do like a little extra sheet that she can have in her spread. I'm gonna do a Mickey. I'm gonna do a Mickey up here. I want him like on the box though. Let me see. Let me get a box. Oh, I kinda wanna do. I wonder if these are too big. Might be too big. Okay. Let me grab. Some boxes. Let me see here. Oh, there's celebrate stickers. Oh, this is so cute. This hooray. Fit that somewhere. I wish it was a different color. Unless I did this box a different color. But I don't think I have. Do we have a blue? I'll have to look. Let me look for a different one. Maybe that there's like a circle sticker. Celebrate. So cute. All right, oops, I messed up this paper. I'm gonna try to find actually a different sheet of paper because I don't like the color of this. I might have to um, like maybe add washi to this to make it different. I don't know. I haven't decided yet. Let me see if I can find another paper. So I was like totally putting stickers down and realized I wasn't filming. So I decided I'm gonna add in some more balloons by Mickey because I just think it looks cuter with him. Like all these balloons around him. So yeah, I kind of just wanted to be like surrounded by all the balloons. I think it looks cute. I'm trying to decide. Put this, do I have a smaller one? Hmm. I don't really have a small one. I figure out how I want to scatter these. Oh, I kind of have a small one. I have this one. I just like that one because it was a different shape. It's got 
lots of balloons by him. I think that works. That's cute. I like that. <laughs> it came out cute. All right, I'm going to put this sticker back because I took this one off. I'm just going to put this here. It looks very festive, which is what I was going for. I want it to be like very, a birthday is happening in <laughs> this spread, you know? I'm gonna add one of these over here. Oh my gosh, it's too adorable. I love how that turned out. I mean, there's a lot on these two little pages, but I feel like there's still a lot of room to write, which is good. At least for me, like this would still be very, very, very functional because I usually, only note like one or two things in each of these boxes so and and, sh and you know Shanika already told me what you know boxes she needed for what days so at least you know those are already on the page and then I'm going to give her this extra sheet so I'm yeah she's gonna have tons of room to write in for this week I'm actually not sure so I'm not sure if she just uses a mini or like how she uses the mini. We're gonna have a um, a Zoom call this week, I believe. We have like a Zoom call. We just kind of like chat and hang out. And last time we just did some planning and chatted and stuff. And I'm hoping she can make it because we kind of like discuss like what we use and like honestly just about anything we kind of discuss. It's a lot of fun. Yeah, she joined at a good time because um, I usually try to do a lot of those things like the Zoom calls and the, um, what's it called? Uh, I do a live plan with me I, and um, um, I can't find my words. <laughs> yeah, I do a live plan with me. I'm going to do like a class for one of the tiers. So I, I try to do that towards like the middle to the end of the month. So that way, like if people join, like how I had a few people join this weekend, they don't, they, you know, they didn't miss out on those things. So yeah, those things will be happening this week, which is exciting. It's always fun to meet up, talk, all that fun stuff. Okay, so I'm gonna use the polka dot washi because I think this might be the washi I use on the other side too. I always like when I think of Mickey, Maybe because it's mini, I think of like polka dots. I don't know. That's just what I think. So I'm just gonna put this little hooray because I did like this hooray. So I'm gonna use it here. And then I do have like these balloons. Maybe I can put them like in here. Actually, that would be really cute to do that. Here. Okay, let me fix this so I can stick this here. Like they're coming out of this little hooray. <laughs> That's super adorable. Yeah, so then like she can have this here. And then this can be another like little list type thing. You know? I think it's cute. I think it's a cute idea. Okay, so let me grab a box for up here. Like a little title type of box, I guess. Actually, let me see. Where's my... Look, my colorful box is Oh, here it is. Okay. I wonder if I have, like, what kind of boxes I have in here. Oh, I have a checklist. I could use a checklist. I have this box. These little boxes. Okay, I don't have headers. I think I might just do I'm trying to think what I should do. A header? 
Let me see how a checklist will look over here. If I do a yellow checklist. This checklist here. I could do a box here. Let me go into JoJo's book and grab a box. Probably red. <laughs> Got lots of red. Or I think I thought I did. Mm, have this red box. I need a different size. Hmm. Okay, let me find a different box. Oops, my book's falling apart. I'm afraid I'm like not filming. <laughs> I haven't done that in a while where I just started planning without hitting, you know, record. Mm, I want blue. found a box. This little box here. Is that crooked? I feel like everything is crooked. Okay, I'm trying to find something for, oh, I can use one of these little Mickey heads. That's cute. Cute, cute, cute. Mm, although I don't like, I don't want Mickey on top of Mickey, you know? I don't know if you know that. <laughs> but that's, that's how my, that's how I feel about it. Let me find something else. Okay, I did find... A little circle sticker, but I lost it. Of course. Where'd it go? Okay. It's similar to that one. I'm just gonna add this over here. I just feel like I need something. Okay. And then I'm gonna do a little header. I found some cute little headers here. This one. Actually, I'm gonna add in some washi first before I add that header. Washi. bottom. Oops. Okay, I'm going to stick this on the page. I'm trying to think. Okay, I'm going to cover up some of these. down a little bit more. Oops. Now I can move this down because I didn't like the way it looked layered. Okay. Cute. I think that's a really cute little sheet and then um, she'll have the back and she can just drop more things down. But I like that a little extra little checklist, a little section here. I would write here too. And it goes with the theme of the spread. Love that. Okay, the last thing I have to do is I need to add in some washi just so it can coordinate with that. I think I'm just going to add this just to a few places on the spread. I love polka dots with the um, 
Mickey theme. I think it's really cute. Actually, not right there. Put some here. up here. Actually, very particular where I put this stuff, as you can see. Okay, and put some up here. Oh my gosh, it's way too adorable. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna see how this looks in the planner. I'm curious to see. Okay, I'm gonna grab this planner. I think I'm all done. It came out so cute. Okay, actually I'm gonna stick this in here. It's super cute on the black discs. Like that. It's adorable. And then this is the extra sheet I'm going to add. Yeah, so that's cute. Or like, so like she can, you know, use that within the spread or, you know, wherever. But at least it coordinates so that way if it is here, it, you see this. And then you can flip it and you have that. Cute. Cute, cute, cute. Oh my gosh. I love it. It's adorable. Okay, so I hope you guys all enjoyed watching me create this very special birthday spread for Shanika and her nephew's birthday. I'm so happy with how it turned out. It's, it is too adorable. I love it. I love doing Mickey spreads and I love that she's doing this. She wanted a spread for her, for her nephew because I'm an auntie and that totally means a lot to me. So yeah, love that. Thank you. Thank you, Shanika, for becoming a patron. I'm so excited to have you here um, and that, you know, you wanted me to make me to make you a spread. I have a lot of fun making this one for you. So I hope you enjoyed watching this video. I hope you all enjoyed watching this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. And if you'd like to see more of my videos, please hit that subscribe button. And I hope to see you guys all in the next one.